Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Today, we're going to check out my collection of old musical toys. I got all of these at rummage sales and flea markets long after they were sold in stores, which is why I paid only 15 cents for the Magical Musical Thing. The Magical Musical Thing was made by Mattel in 1978. One of the cool things you could do with the Magical Musical Thing was to slide your finger across it. And you could tap on it like a heavy metal guitar player. 1978 was also the year that Parker Brothers produced Merlin. Merlin had six games, but of course it was the music machine that allowed you to compose and perform your own tunes. Now Merlin just looks like a giant cell phone. In 1979, Play School made the major Morgan organ. Unfortunately, the speaker is in the back, which makes it kind of hard to hear. What a meal, what a meal. Incredibly, you can now buy a virtual version of the Major Morgan organ as a phone app. Next up, Hasbro's Snoopy Playmate from 1980. The Snoopy Playmate was big and bulky, but that's because it was made for younger kids. It is, after all, a romper room product. You can play music by pressing Snoopy's hand, ear, hat, nose, musical notes, and Woodstock. Few people know that Woodstock was one of the first dubstep artists. My Snoopy Playmate doesn't work anymore, but you can hear what it sounded like in this original song that I recorded. The Snoopy Playmate is lots of fun. Next, from 1980, we have the Sound Gizmo from Fun Dimensions. Using the pitch and speed knobs, you can make a variety of sounds. You could make a phaser, a siren, or even an explosion. 1980 was also the year that the Megocorp made Fabulous Fred. Fabulous Fred, also known as the ultimate electronic game, was basically a bigger, more colorful version of Merlin. When you turn on Fabulous Fred, it greets you like this. Fabulous Fred has nine games, but its electronic organ lets you play the hits. It's a peanut butter recall, I remember them all. Somebody who worked for Radio Shack must have seen their kid playing with Fabulous Fred because in 1981 they made the computerized arcade. It was also known as the Tandy 12 because it featured 12 colorful buttons instead of Fabulous Fred's 9. The big drawback here is that they put the speaker in the back again. The computerized arcade has 12 games and a few more notes to play songs. Most people know Ohio Art as the company famous for producing the Etch-A-Sketch. In 1982, Ohio Art made the less well-known Musical Storybook. Well, let's open it up. It might look like a lot of buttons, but every letter makes the same sound. One cool thing you can do with the Musical Storybook is change the octave by holding down this button. I hope you enjoyed seeing the musical toys today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. See you soon. Thanks, YouTube.